Like 99% of my friends, I'm privileged, and I know it very well. I'm privileged financially, by education, by social standing, by access to media, by opportunities, by access to resources, by everything. I also know that this places me in the top 5% of this country. And in the middle of this terrible pandemic, my privilege has become a burden. I look around and I worry because my work has also brought me into contact with the less privileged, the deaf, the street children, students, struggling artists, upcoming dancers. I worry about my students my dancers, how they are managing in Delhi, my drummers, my martial artists in Manipur, and my present young group of deaf students in Mumbai. I also know worrying without action paralyzes. So I do stuff, reach out, phone, talk, Offer help. Listen. If you see someone in need these days, reach out into your pocket. Just do. So that when this is over, as it will be, we will all be able to look into the eyes of the most important person in our lives without looking away ourselves. Till then, stay safe, stay home. Namaskar. World Dance Day has always been very special to Nati Riksha and to me because almost for the last 15 to 20 years we've been celebrating it in collaboration with India International Centre and this year unfortunately we had to cancel it. But this time which we've got I think is very special though artists are getting disillusioned with cancellations of programs and other uh, problems associated with the lockdown. But I think this is a time of churning, it's a time of looking inwards. And I think many of the Kabir's poems make a lot of sense now, particularly when I'm revisiting them. Because there comes in a time in everybody's uh, life where we face challenges. And it's up to us to rise as a community and fight against these odds and make arts much more relevant to each one of us than ever before because I don't know of anyone in this lockdown who has not heard music or who has not danced to keep their spirits high. So it goes to prove that dance, music, theatre, visual arts are something so intrinsic to the human nature that we cannot but support them and keep them alive and keep our spirits and our souls soaring with the arts. So this is only a transition time and I think the best time for the arts is yet to come and I'm sure people will realize the true value of the arts. Hello dancers, chances are no matter what I say you'd have heard it already. This is a time when two things become clear to us. 
that dance relies on the physical presence. It is an embodiment which we cannot easily translate into a virtual world and perhaps we shouldn't. But for a moment perhaps, instead we can use this abnormal scenario to separate dance from danciness, to free the body from its duty to perform and entertain, and really instead think about practice. A musician knows he has to practice scales every day, but what are the scales for a dancer? What do we do with the instrument of dance, the body, when we are left feeling redundant? Which brings me to my second point. The iconic choreographer Chandralekha often said to the establishment, I exist despite you. Today, artists of India, especially those of us who depend on the ephemeral now, are a class and community never mentioned, inessential and ignorable. While countries in Europe ensure their artists survive, here we belong to a nameless class, unemployed, unsalaried, in other words, precarious. But again, in this time where so much fear prevails, I find myself oddly secure in this body that I know so well, that I have nurtured for all these years. Allow this time to recover from injuries, to build strength, to help your mother's aching knees, and know that perhaps a new meaning of dance will emerge from us all. Remain safe, not fearful, dance warriors. Dear friends, Namaskaram from Dakshashit Dance Company. This is an unusual situation that we are all thrown in. As a dance community, our physical, mental and economic well-being is in a crisis. What are we supposed to do? This situation has forced us to think in a different way to overcome our limitations. Maybe, can we find movement in stillness? Can we discover power in silence? Can we create solidarity in isolation? Can we solve economic issues by uniting together? Can we be grateful to each day that we are alive and virus free? Friends, my heartiest best wishes to all of you for a healthy, virus-free life, staying alive. Pranam. Hello. My first impulse when this lockdown happened was to reach out, to touch somebody with my heart. And so I shared small little videos made at home from my home to your home. And I was hoping that somewhere, some dancer spread across this globe within the confines of his or her home, that it would touch them. And that in turn, all the videos that I have been seeing by dancers who are finding their new stages in the, within their homes, their audiences within themselves, how they are touching me. Stay well, stay safe, dance, find the expansion within yourself, within your dance, within your body, in the confines of one's own home or one of one's own room. And have a wonderful year beginning with the International Dance Day. Wishing you all a wonderful World Dance Day. But we as dancers know but there's no one day for dancing. Every day is a day to dance. And now, when we're not able to dance so much because of the pandemic, we're not able to do what we love doing, which is performing. Let's use this time well, this time for introspection, for recreating what we want to do, for research, for relearning, 
and reworking our bodies, our mind and spirit to be the best dancers we can ever be. So let's use this World Dance Day to promise to ourselves to stay with dance because it's both our blessing and our talent. It's our passion and our training. And it's the purpose for why we are here in this planet. So let's go on, keep dancing, be happy, and make sure the world around you is happy dancing. Happy World Dance Day. It's a response to what we're experiencing. Writers write, painters paint, garden is garden, dancers dance. So that is what I'm going to be doing now. And I'm just going to add a little bit every day and I'm going to remember it. And it's going to be a solo eventually that will be seen in a theater because I remain somewhat optimistic that we will be performing in front of live eyes instead of in front of a screen. Eyes will be watching us. Many of them. Many of them. In their seats. In the theater. My style is very specific. Combining Indian dance and contemporary dance, and I'm a trained contemporary dancer. I've had many, many years of training. 35 years of doing this business of dance, of creating, making new movements every single day, trying to create some kind of movement, phrases. Enter my studio, my studio, my theater. This has become Bye. Theater now. Hello, I'm Jonathan Hollander here in New York City at the Battery Dance Company, and I'd like to extend my warmest greetings to you, Sudarshan Chakravorty and Sapphire, as well as the dance community in Calcutta at large and across India and the world on this International Dance Day. It's so important at this time when the world is faced with a pandemic and the need for social distancing, which is so much in contrast and conflict with the way that dancers normally behave. Normally we thrive on collaboration, teamwork and engagement. And now we're forced to work from home in isolation. In a way, it's a positive thing. We can think about ourselves, our core, and work on our own technique, work on our strength, work on our fitness, and our state of mind when challenged by something that is so extreme and unprecedented in the world. So many people are suffering in this situation. And of course, it makes it very emotionally and psychologically unsettling to go through something like this. But Battery Dance has faced it from March 13th when the coronavirus began to really spread in New York City. And as you know, our city has been an epicenter with huge numbers of cases and many deaths. It's been a tragic, tragic situation. And I sincerely hope that India will be able to cope with it through the lockdown and through everyone's positive energy and figuring out a way to deal with this our way has been to create Battery Dance TV. We launched it on March 27th and we've projected over 150 different programs, dance training for people who have maybe not any dance experience or some who are advanced like you all are, but also interviews with different dancers and people around the world who are coping with the virus and the situation and talking about things that we've experienced and the meaning of international dance and collaboration. So that's something we should think about today. We should celebrate the spirit of dance around the world and the way that we've all been improvising with our lives and our work in a situation that no one could have imagined. So I'm sending positive energy to all my colleagues, all my fellow dancers and the audience out there and especially my good wishes to Sudarshan Chakravorty and Sapphire and the dance community in Calcutta with whom I have uh, had such wonderful interactions and feel very inspired by the work that you're doing. So all the best and happy 
International Dance Day, and let's hope for better times ahead. Thank you. Hello. My name is Joseph Gonzalez, and I'm speaking to you from the Hong Kong Academy for Performing Arts, and I'm a Malaysian choreographer and arts worker by profession. I come to you at a time that is unprecedented in our lives, when we are all being locked down, when we are facing a global pandemic that has never been experienced in a long time. Many of us who constantly have thought about time, space, energy, uh, creating indoors and outdoors, uh, site responsive works to huge stage works to intimate improvisation performances, are unable to do that practice the way we have been accustomed to. We are feeling trapped, we are feeling frustrated, we are feeling isolated. However, this is a time that we have to stand together as a community. Think not just of ourselves, but the arts workers. Uh, we have to think of um, people who are frontliners, the health workers, the people providing essential services that are necessary to keep the world going. The cleaners, the janitors, the nurses, the doctors, uh, the delivery men and women. This is the time for us to connect with each other in different ways, to use our online platforms to dance together alone, in isolation, but with a community and feel what it's like to participate in a class that has been given by somebody who is a thousand miles away. I myself have used this great opportunity to observe and watch performances that I might not necessarily have the chance to do to watch Paris Opera, to watch Alvin Ailey, to watch Lin Huai Min. It's just incredible to develop. I use this time to develop myself, my experience, my knowledge, my uh, exposure to things that I perhaps might not have had the chance to or the time to before. So this is the time. But in the meantime, keep strong, keep positive, keep working on your bodies, keep working on your flexibility, keep working on your strength. Perhaps you can try something that doesn't involve too much space. Perhaps it could be yoga or a different kind of uh, dance practice like a ballet bar, something that doesn't need too much space. I think, however, in here, in your heads, in your minds, great things can happen. This is a time to plan, to think, to question, to interrogate your creative practice, to discover as a reflective practitioner who you are and what you would like to do tomorrow and the day after. And when we all meet face to face, and it will happen, and let us pray at that time that we're not missing anybody we love. So take care, God bless. Happy International Dance Day in lockdown, wherever you may be. God bless, bye bye. I'm Yer Yang, in the south of France, nearby the sea, two minutes walking distance. Now locked in my little cave inside. As a dancer or choreographer, I've seen all my life I've been traveling, also in the geography. As the last 14 years, I've been very often in India, sharing with a lot, a lot of you, sharing projects, residency. And the main point was about exploring spaces outside and exploring spaces inside. From one way, it's a very nice invitation. This what is happening, although the, for sure the tragic aspect of it is so touching, but an invitation to go back inside for myself, to re-examine my wishes and my, my inner motivation when I try to engage in some work. Is it really coming from the inside? What do you want, Michel, now? What is the next? Well, maybe a good lesson or invitation for all of us to, to come back from time to time or often, even when we will be free again to, to fly all over, but to come back more and more regularly in this inner space. Mm. 
So very interestingly, because in my work very often in the last years, I the work is on a very open space, and even in the choreography, sometimes I bring scenes on a very, very reduced spot in the room, one stage. And I like this circulation. And sometimes the smaller space brings an intensity that is a wonderful intensity. And in a way, if I can say this word, uh, the truth moving truly amazing. So what to say? You see to say I'm locked now in last cases is about the water since years, fascination of the water, my dream to be in the water, the water is there, but I can't reach in. I can reach it. Or maybe inside locked, I can imagine it. I can imagine the, the sea. I can imagine the immensity of the, the sea in front of me. No end. Amazing. The sea and the wind. I stand alone. Wave build up. Perhaps it tells me its name. I do not understand who amongst the waves I should name and I wait Ciao a tutti, io sono Ambalos. I'm an Italian dancer and choreographer and I would like to thank a lot uh, Sapphire Dance Creation, Sudashan, for having me inviting in uh, this video, talking about the difficulties are now in Italy and also about uh, by artistic point of view. This is the uh, terrible situation we have now and I hope that we will go out. But the artistic situation in Italy is, is uh, even worse because uh, for 20 years uh, uh, art has been a little bit, we can say, killed in Italy by politics. And uh, now this, uh, the fact that all the theatres, all the places, all the dance shows are uh, closed uh, means for us uh, losing a lot. <laughs> If everything is existing because of movement, I have no choice, I have to, I have to dance. Dance is a natural thing for humans and makes us connected with the past and future. Mushkar, I'm Sudarshan Chakravarti and I extend my warm wishes to everyone in the International World Dance Day 2020. We all know that right now we are in a war. No less than a war, perhaps worse than a war. A situation we have never experienced before, at least our generation. But I know that dancers are warriors. We have been waging wars both within and outside every day through the years. But now the situation is worse and we need to hold each other. Be together, unify in solidarity, in consolidation, in the spirit of being one world 
one community. And here we know that we now need the support of the public community much more than ever before. You can support us, not just going to a ticketed show and watch us as entertainers, but support in much more different ways by supporting and encouraging your children to continue learning dance, inspiring your children to be dancers, and all of this motivating them because art always makes you more human. And we know now that the most important quality of humanity is sensibility, sensitivity, compassion, love. And all this is always taught by arts. So dancers, we all should continue our work. And I can pledge today that I want to remain a dancer, continue my dance, and help propagate, protect, promote dance and dancers in my small ways, in my little ways. And I would ask you to join us in this support of dance, support of arts. Thank you. New happy World Dance Day.